Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to my channel for another episode of what you can get from that pack. I know, I, I feel like I just made this episode for the Year of the Rat one, but we're back with a pretty big pack. Pretty, pretty big pack, in fact. And that is indeed the 2018 Carbon Fiber. Now, of course, per usual, if you are new to the channel, I completely and wholeheartedly welcome you to my channel. I hope you stay around. And if you are a frequent viewer and you're coming back, I always appreciate your support. We're actually really close to 3,000 subscribers already. So if we could hit, if you guys could hit that subscribe button and get me to 3,000, hopefully I will ship out a nice little giveaway for all you guys as well. Obviously, as you guys know, I've given away gold in the past and cars. I'm gonna talk with Hutch and see if I can give away something different. I like to give away things uh, that are different. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll do gold if, if they let me, right? But you know, we'll, we'll see. I want to add some little surprises to that. Anyway, today's episode on what you can get from this pack. The pack in question is indeed 2018 Carbon Fiber. If you, uh, if this is the first episode of the series that you've watched, well, let me just say I've reviewed a lot of packs at this point. Uh, but how it basically works is I'm going to show you every card you can get from this pack, give you my thoughts, uh, and also you can see what's in the pack. I will also run through the statistics. This is something new I'm doing on this series because I love statistics. So I will tell you the statistics as in, you know, whether you're odds of getting an RQ-19, your odds of getting an RQ-23, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, with that said, let's get into the pack and see what is inside the 2018 Carbon Fiber. So, here we are, the contents of the 2018 Carbon Fiber Pack. Now, before I show you all the innards, that just did not sound right. Uh, before I show you all the, uh, you know, what the, the contents of the pack, what I'm gonna do is run through the t statistics with you real quick. So, 2018 Carbon Fiber stats, uh, there are 19 ultra rares in total. Now, I'm not adding uh, prize cars because you can't get prize cars on this pack. Uh, 19 ultra rares in total, 6 of them are RQ19, which makes up 31% of the ultras you can get. 2 are RQ20, which makes up 10% of what you can get from this pack. 6 is RQ21, which makes another 31%, and 5 is RQ22, which makes 20 six percent now i did these calculations on a calculator um but if i still got any of the calculations wrong that's on me because i'm really bad at math but um you know this this these, these are the general percentages in fact i do believe they are right um so uh the last thing that i want to say is something i've kind of added to this series as well is the blossom choice cars these are the cars where i feel like if you got it you wouldn't feel bad. Like, you wouldn't feel like you wasted your gold, or you wouldn't feel like, ah, this is the end of the world. So these are the Blossom Choice cards, and they are unbiased because, you know, I will... If I will recognize a good French car if it's a good French car. The reason I'm saying that is because this Sport Megane is a good French car. Uh, but yeah, there are six... Uh, Blossom Choice Ultra Rares, so 31% uh, right there. So there's a 31% where you will get a car that's actually like yeah, I would love that. Obviously, you have to put in your own personal opinions into this as well. So there might be some other cars which I don't think are really useful that you just love. Uh, like for example, the Chevy Tahoe you can get from this pack. It's not a Blossom choice, but I would be ecstatic if I got it. So technically, the odds of me getting an Ultra Rare I like uh, is higher than 31%. Because um, I'm happy with cars that are good, so basically Blossom choice cars, but I'm also happy with cars that I like, if, if that makes sense. Now, when it comes to epics, there are 14 epics you can get. Actually, I'll only I'll, I'll run through the stats once we get to the epics. So I think that'll be better. So let's run through the Ultra Rares real quick. The first one is the Renault Sport Megane IVRS. This is indeed Blossom awesome choice uh it's a great car i'm not gonna lie i mean i have it i, I remember when it used to be super i, I love it I, I actually like this car i mean i don't like the car but i like how useful the car is um i have it in my garage i think it's 96 handling and 0 to 60 of uh, under five seconds uh also front wheel drive why i like using this car is because um front wheel drive events are the most frequent thing in clubs and I literally, this car has saved me on so many occasions. It's actually better than some of the RQ20 cars. It's better than the Caliber and the Twisty stuff, I'll tell you that. And the Caliber is RQ20, and that's a Year of the Rat car too. And that's a bad pack, the Year of the Rat pack. Anyway, moving on is the Peugeot 208 GTI. No, 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 no. Uh, moving on is the Mazda CX-9, also now. I mean, in fact, uh, it's a very niche car, right? Four, four wheel drive, standard tire. Uh, it was funny because I remember, I think a couple weeks ago, there were Mazda events and clubs, and there were rain, 
And all I had to substitute was the Eunice Roadster. But anyone that was in the top that got, you know, the, the MVP badge, the top 10 badge, had the CX-9. So, it's useful, but in like 1% of situations. I wouldn't be happy with it. It's not a Boston Choice car. Maserati Ghibli, it's literally the Italian Renaissance equivalent of an RQ-19 BMW. I do not want to see this. This is the car I want to see the least uh, if I do open uh, the 2018 carbon fiber, which I will. So, um, yeah, I, I don't want to see this. Uh, moving on to the DS7 Crossback, uh, Crossback E10's 4x4 PHV, long name, uh, fuse material. Uh, moving on to Dodge Challenger GT all-wheel drive. I know what you're saying. Is this a Blossom Choice car? No, it's not really a Blossom Choice car. It's decent, all right? It's good handling, four-wheel drive, and medium. That's good. Great combination. Max it out, 93 handling, and uh, 0 to 60 of under five sec uh, under six seconds. Uh, but the 0 to 60 on top speed on this car is horrendous. Uh, it is okay for the rainy city streets, though, I have to say. But it's not a Blossom Choice. But, you know, it's not the worst car I can get from this pack. So, those were all the RQ19s. Moving on to the two RQ20s. The first one is the Peugeot 3083 uh, GTI. And the Range Rover P400E PHEV. It's a good looking car. This is a good, good looking car. It actually looks like the V8, uh, but it's just nowhere near as good as the V8. Um, I don't know what PHEV stands for. For a second, I thought PHEV was an eco friendly thing, but this thing doesn't have the eco friendly tag, so I don't. I actually don't know what it stands for, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's you know, it's it's not a keeper. I, I think it's fuse material, but I would say don't fuse it right away because of all the GE stuff that's gonna go down. Uh, so I would, if you did get it from your garage, just keep it around uh, until the GE hype is over, and then you can start fusing it. Uh, but you know, <laughs> if you max it out. Then don't fuse it. Uh, moving on is the second Blossom choice. It is the Volkswagen Golf GTI TCR. Great car, this. Uh, this was on my GR wish list um, in the number 10 spot. I still haven't gotten one. Uh, so hopefully if I do open this pack, I would be really happy to get this. I'll max it out. Slick tires. I think it's pretty light. Very, very good handling. 5.0, to 60. So it'll hit 0 to 60 in under five seconds obviously and the top speed is decent as well you know it's higher than the normal german 155 the limiters uh moving on is the maserati grand cabrio that's fused uh and the range rover Vela. now this one a lot of people actually love the picture on this car to me it's nothing too special but a lot of people love the picture on this car and i can see why um statistics wise i mean it doesn't look the best but it doesn't look the worst i'm not gonna give it the blossom choice tag uh but it's okay. I mean, if I got this from the pack, I'll be like, yeah. It's also the tier one. I think I think it's a tier one prize right now in the pre-eliminations, is it? I think so. Um, so yeah, I mean, this might be a car that you might want uh, for the Bugatti Chiron finals coming up. Uh, moving on to the Range Rover Sport. Once again, it's not Blossom Tag. It's kind of like, okay, but not the best, but not the worst. It's kind of just there. Uh, obviously, I'm not a professional of the new rovers yet. I haven't really compared them to other RQ21 um, all surface tire cars in the game, but usually I don't really, like usually I put a blind eye to all surface tire four wheel drives because Colorado ZR2, I mean, it's gonna beat everything. Uh, moving on is the Range Rover Evoque. Once again, I mean, I guess we could compare this three, 6872, 6469, 7171. So, I, I, not gonna lie, I think the Velar is the best one out of the lot. This one's fast, but I mean, I don't know what the MRA is like. This one doesn't look like it's any good at all. This one be the worst one out of the three. I don't know. Anyway, moving on is the Bentley Mulzan WO edition. It's a decent picture. I mean, I do not like white backgrounds, but I guess it's just a nice car. I like the spec, black on black. Uh, 4.80 to 60, 80 handling, you know, most likely medium ground clearance. Once again, not too good, not too bad. It's just, yeah. Uh, moving on is the Maserati Levante Diesel. This car does indeed have the Blossom Choice tag. Now hear me out, I know, I know uh, that some people might not really agree. Uh, the Maserati Levante Diesel, why I think is good is because it's like the only all-surface tire um, Italian car that you can get. Uh, there is the 037 Rally uh, and I don't know how that uh, competes with the Levante Diesel, but all I can say is that, you know, if there's ever a Maserati off-road event, <laughs> it's like the only car I can use. Also, the just uh, just in, in the broad spectrum of things, Italian off-road is a very niche category. So having a Levante Diesel would put you in a really good position. Uh, but that's about it. Actually, I don't even know if it deserves the Blossom Choice tag. I have to think about this one now. 
Uh, but yeah, moving on is the Maserati Gran Turismo. This one does not have the Blossom Choice tag, I think. Maybe I put it on this. I honestly can't remember anymore. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's a decent car. I mean, not good, not bad. In fact, it's more good than it is bad. It's more good than it is decent. Honestly, if you get this car from the pack, um, yeah, I'd be happy with it. I have it maxed out. It's 0 to 60 under 4 seconds. I think it's like 3.9 or 3.8. And handling of over 90 and a top speed of like almost 200. Not bad. Uh, however, the MRA is around the 70s, and I know it's not as good as the Aston Martin Rapide S because I've already compared the two, and the Rapide S is indeed slightly better in the tracks that I have uh, compared them in. Obviously, not every track I've compared them in. Uh, moving on is the Chevrolet Tahoe Custom. Not a Boston Tag car, but it is indeed in my heart. Um, once again, you know, I have to keep the consistency of things saying. The Colorado ZR2 is indeed the big daddy of all off-road ultra rares. Now, I did say that I might give the Blossom Tag to the Maserati Levante, but that's because the Italian off-road scene is super niche. And the American off-road scene, well, it's Colorado ZR2 time. Uh, which is next! <laughs> Bl Blossom approved tag. This, this thing is amazing. Uh, Colorado ZR2, honestly, if I got this from a pack, and then the next pack, I got an RQ27, uh, I think the RQ27 you can get from this pack is the BMW M850i. I would be more happy about the ZR2. I love this thing. I want five of them maxed out. It's such a great car. Um, yeah, honestly, if you open this pack and get the ZR2, congratulations to you. Because honestly, to me, that's a jackpot pull. Moving on is the BMW 640i X-Drive. Decent car. I'll give it the Blossom Choice tag as well. 5.1 to 60, 80 handling, four-wheel drive, decent MRA. Not as good MRA as a RS200, but it does hit 89 handling and 0 to 60 of under 5 seconds. I think it's like 4.2. So it's definitely not bad. Moving on, this one I'm also giving the Blossom Choice tag, the BMW 440i. 4.40 to 60, that is very, very low, especially when you consider this car is actually medium ground clearance. Uh, 80 handling is okay as well. It'll hit about 89 handling and like zero to 60 in under four seconds. So uh, with medium ground clearance, it's a decent car. I had, I, I've gotten this, I have this, I had this for a while already, almost a month, uh, but I haven't maxed it out. However, it is on my list and I will get to it as soon as possible. Anyway, moving on to the epics. There are 14 epics in total. Three are RQ23, which makes up 21% of the pack uh, of all epics that you can get, I mean. Uh, five are RQ24, which makes up 36% of all epics. Three are RQ25, which makes up 21% of all epics, and three are RQ26, which makes up 21% of all epics. So three, 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 only RQ24 has five. So in my opinion, the epics in this pack is not really good, but all the RQ26 ones are bangers. So T-Rag, no, it's eh. Land Rover Defender works V8. Now this one, you know, it's it's hard to determine if this is going to be a great car or not, because I don't know anybody that has this maxed out. It's a new car. I don't know how it... Uh, compares to other off-roaders in the game, but four-wheel drive off-road is definitely like the pinnacle of off-road events. You want off-road tires and four-wheel drive. Um, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know what to say. I compare this to the Mercedes-Benz 6x6 and it's faster, I think. No, 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 I think the 0 to 60 is the same. It, it just handles better. It has like four more handling or something. Um, so yeah, it might be better than the Mercedes-Benz 6x6, but it's not saying much because the Mercedes-Benz 6x6 is one of the worst uh, ultra uh, epics in the game. Uh, I do have a friend that is planning to max this out soon, so we will see if it's any good or not. Uh, moving on is the Bentley Flying Spur. Yeah. Uh, and the Range Rover Sport SVR. Now, when I first saw the Range Rover Sport SVR, I was like, yo, this car is actually insane. It's going to be great. Um, but then I found out it has performance tires. Yeah. Uh, moving on is the GMC uh, Denali. Uh, moving on to the X4 and the X2. All, all grim. All, all grim. Uh, and then lastly is the Maserati Levante S. So once again, you know, uh, I didn't give it the Blossom Choice tag. You know, I need to keep consistency. If I did not, if I'm, if I'm not gonna give this a Blossom Choice tag, why am I gonna give the Blossom Choice tag to the other Levante? Oh wait, no, that's fine because Ultra Rares are much easier to max out. Uh, but yeah, no, just mm, yeah, I, mm, I, I don't like it. Okay, you know what? This is the thing that's been annoying me. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to give the Ultra Rare Maserati Levante the Blossom tag, Blossom of Choice tag, just to keep consistency, because this one obviously is going to be better in um. Italian off-road events, but 
Even if I got it, I wouldn't max it out. So yeah, I wouldn't give Blossom tags to any of them. Never mind, my, my apologies. Uh, moving on to Jaguar I Pace. Um, no, I mean, I don't know much about this car. The Zeta 60 for a four-wheel drive standard tire car is actually pretty good. Uh, 4.3. Uh, I have the BMW 740D maxed out. Also standard tire, medium standard uh, four-wheel drive car. And at maxed out, it already hits 4.20 to 60 at 969. And the fact that this is like 43 stock, it might be pretty good. But it's still too new for me to really give it a blossom choice tag i think I, I don't even know anybody that owns this uh but yeah I, I feel like if i got it i might even max it. That, that zero to 60 that zero to 60 is insane i need to compare it with other uh four wheel drive center car style cars anyway uh oh i thought we were gonna jump to rq26 but we're not bmw i8 roadster it's bleh. all right this is why this is why i'm gonna open one 2018 carbon fiber because dodge challenger srt hellcat wide body i want that Blossom Choice Tag, 100%! I mean, this isn't even biasedness, it's a good car. It's like one of the best American fast circuit Dodge or muscle cars. Um, it's a great car, 94 handling. I'm pretty sure it beats the Corvettes in the uh, fast circuit as well with its amazing MRA. Um, you know, 3.10 to 60 max out or 3.0, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this 233. So I think it's gonna be 3.2. Um, 94 handling with over 200 top speed. I say that I'm gonna 233 this, but I'm never gonna get it. Let's be real. Uh, the next two, however, will <laughs> will excite you guys more than the white body excites me. BMW M3 CS and my mom's car. What can I say? These cars are keepers. Both of them are indeed Blossom approved. You know, both of them, both of them have the Blossom Choice tag. Anyway, moving on to the legendary. So the legendary stats is we have 18 legendaries. Two are RQ27, which makes up 11% of the pack. Two are RQ28, which makes up 11% of the pack. Four is RQ29, which makes up 22% of the pack. And 10 are RQ30, which makes up 55% of the pack. So if you pull a legendary, you have more odds of, you have higher odds of getting an RQ30 than any other RQ. That's that's pretty good, um, and in terms of blossom choice, uh, I'm giving like every car in here a blossom choice tag besides like two. Um, so 88% are blossom choice legendaries. The only two I didn't give it to is the MA50i and like one other car. We'll we'll probably find it out. Uh, yeah, MA50i, nothing too special. I have this maxed out. Never use it. No MRA. Uh, the Aston Martin Vantage. I would love this. I don't know what the MRA is on this car yet, um, but I would love to have this. Uh, moving on to Lotus Evora GT430. Really nice looking car. Amazing MRA. I don't know if it'll, it'll stay having great MRA, but for now it has great MRA. Uh, oh yeah, this is the other one that I didn't give the Blossom Choice tag to, so any other legendary will be good. Uh, Lamborghini Huracan, Rear Wheel Drive Spider. I mean, everybody knows this is one of the most underwhelming Lamborghinis legendary in the game. Uh, because honestly, if you want a good uh, legendary Lambo, it has to be literally RQ30. Um, but moving on to the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. I'm a personal fan of this car. Uh, I do love the Porsches. Moving on is the Lotus 311 430, the Jaguar F-Pace SVR, the Aerial Atom 4, the Porsche 911 GT2 RS. This is the legendary I want the most. I actually know. Legendary I want the most in second place. It's the second most legendary I want because obviously they introduced the DBS Super Legera and now that is the legendary I want the most. But before the DBS Super Legera, um, this was the legendary I wanted the most. 911 GT2 RS. I love that car, man. I love the stats. I love the picture. It's just, this car is so perfect. Uh, but moving on is the McLaren 720S. The McLaren 720S Spider. The McLaren 600 LT Coupe. The Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider, Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster, Lamborghini Aventador S, uh, BMW M5, and the BMW M5 Competition Delimited. I think there's only one more car, and that is indeed the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Amazing legendaries, honestly. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, when it comes to a pack that provides a strong variety, of legendaries you know like this one you know you have one of the strongest all surface tire cars in the game which happens to be italian <laughs> um 
Uh, you know, it has some of the strongest twisty cars in the game of the 311. You have this, it, it has the strongest medium ground clearance cars in the game with the competition delimited. Um, you know, 600 LT Coupe looks amazing. Uh, one of the strongest Porsches in the game. I mean, the legendary haul in this pack is just absolutely amazing. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I have to give you my verdict to tell you what I feel about the pack. So, it's decent. It's a decent pack. It's high risk, high reward, which is how I think most packs in Top Drive should be. Unlike the um, Year of the Rat pack, which is like, like the rewards aren't even that high. It's just one car, it's just a super light, and everything else basically sucks. Um, well, not everything else, but you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, this is a, you know, it's a good pack. Like in terms of RQ26 and above, if you feel, okay, yeah, here's the thing. If you feel lucky, if you think you're going to get a high tier epic or a legendary, then yeah, open this pack. Because the legendary haul that you can get from this pack, in my opinion, might be even better than maybe a normal carbon fiber. Because in a normal carbon fiber, you can get, you know, those uh, really bad RQ27 Diablos and the Panameras and the Golf GTIs and, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, bad. But these are good. So if you do feel like you will get a legendary then yeah, I would recommend you to open the pack. Um, but in terms of the lower range stuff, you know, in terms of a good ultra, it's around 31%. Uh, but if you do like some of the other cars in here, maybe 40%. So it's not bad. It's really not bad. 40% uh, is not too bad. So yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a decent pack. It's not the best, but it's not bad at all. Uh, so my verdict, am I going to open it? Yeah, I already said earlier, I'm going to open it. Should you open it? Once again, if you're feeling lucky, Go ahead, and I wish you the best of luck. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Garage Review. Uh, if you have any comments and feedback, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be interested to read them. I mean, I literally read every comment I get. Uh, and with that said, hope you guys have a great day. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you all next time.